All right, so for this video, I was thinking about doing something a little different. I have some LED light strips right here. And instead of just opening the box and showing you, which I will do just in case you've never used these before, I thought we'd do something a little different too. Maybe just to try to give you some cool ideas. Well, one idea at least of something you could do with these lights. A lot of people put them in shelves. You could put them around your bed. Heck, you could even put them underneath your couch if you wanted to. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one. And I think it'll look pretty cool. I had something similar before, but they broke. Time to replace it. This one's 16 feet. It's a little bit, well, a lot bit longer than what I actually need. But it says on here, cut to length. So you can cut this as long as you cut it in the right spot. I never actually bought the Bright On brand before. It's just Walmart's brand. This was actually on sale for $8, so... It's pretty cool. I like them. I like lights. I like colors, if you can't tell. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you what I have planned. Okay, so right there's my TV. And as you can see behind it, I have lights kind of, you know, attached to it that illuminates the walls a little bit. And I like that. There's my feet. And down there is my shelf. So what my plan is, is I want to put lights kind of around the bottom of this shelf on the, the metal part. So it kind of lights up all of this stuff down here. All right, so we're back here again, and I think it's about time to open this. I'm pretty familiar with these. I've, I've bought, not this brand, but I've bought these before. I know what's in here probably, but you might not. So I think now would be a good time to get our little knife and uh, let's open this thing up and let's see what's inside. Okay. 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 Okay, let's open this thing. Let's see what's in here. All right, so here we have, I think I opened it upside down, some cardboard. Let's get that thing that fell. Ugh. Power plug. Oh, that plugs in like that. That's not USB. I thought this was USB. This plugs into the wall, which may cause a problem because I fully intended to plug this in with USB. And this is probably the lights themselves. What do you mean, probably? What the heck else would it be? And a quick start guide. Okay, so, in here are the lights. Oh, and the remote. And there is 16 feet of light, and here's the sensor that uh, the remote will see. The cord looks like it's gonna be pretty long, let's see. Yeah, the cord is a decent size. I'd say that's a good, solid 12 wieners length. So really, the only thing left to do now is to put it on the TV stand and see what it looks like. So, let me do that. It's like a difficult yo-yo. So if you're like me, and you're gonna have to cut it to make it a little bit shorter, it does tell you kind of how to cut it. You cut it right along those uh, metal strips right there. Also, when you're getting ready to peel this, this peels off. But, since it's all together, you can accidentally start peeling both of these at once and there's a good chance you'll actually damage this so make sure that you actually peel this back and you're not taking both all at once i really like that this is more papery like this strip is pretty very flimsy and papery uh the other ones i had was uh, it had like a coating of some sort of clear rubber or something this one, you can bend this just about any way you want, and I really appreciate that. Sorry to interrupt, but I also wanted to say these lights are really sticky. They're nice. I don't know if you noticed it, but the lights I had on the back of my TV a moment ago in this video, I had a piece of tape holding them up in a couple spots because they weren't sticky. Those old rubbery ones were not very good. These new ones I like a lot, and I recently replaced the ones on my TV with basically the same ones. They just plug in with USB, and they're really good. They're really sticky. I don't need tape to hold them up, so th these new ones that Walmart have been putting out are pretty decent. I like them. Okay, so it might be hard to see, but this is what it looks like underneath here. I just kind of have it running along all around the, the inside here, really. And let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Oh wow, that's a lot brighter than I expected it to be. <laughs> that's kind of cool though. I'll probably use blue, so let's find blue. Yeah, look at that. What's auto? Oh, well, that's kind of cool. There, Actually, we'll do one more because there's one where it's supposed to work with sound, so. Boo. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Every time I talk, it lights up. Okay, that one's pretty cool. That one's less abrasive. But for me, I'll probably just leave it kind of set on blue. Okay, I can't leave you hanging. We're gonna have to find out what this is like with the sound and the TV on at the same time. 
Uh, it just wouldn't feel right not to test this. Okay, that was pretty cool actually. There's a pig behind me. And another pig. And another pig. And a monkey. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed putting that there. I like it. I think it looks good. It was pretty easy to put in. I really like, like I said earlier, that it's a, a thin, almost papery kind of thing. It's really easy to work with. I love that the uh, the the plug the thing everything plugs into has a sticky spot. You just peel it and that is incredibly convenient. Luckily, I had an open spot to plug it into, but it all went pretty well and I'm pretty happy about it. You see this right here? What is that? It was a piece of plastic reflecting blue light. Okay, so I think that about does it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and it was a fun video to watch. I had a lot of fun making it and if you did watch it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And hey, maybe I'll see you around on the internet again someday. Later.